Blah, 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 blah. And when we try that again, and action. That's one big melon. Yeah. Oh, oh kisses. And Good lunch. Oh, that's freaking great. I think that will do the job for the next five thousand kilometers. Thirteenth of May. We are ready for the outback, aren't we? We are very ready for yeah. the outback. So we've got a three month trip. We don't have to be back in Melbourne until August. Yeah. So we'll do a round trip. We'll head west now. We'll head um, out to Chinchilla and all that. Then we'll head a bit further out and head directly up to uh, Longreach and Winton, up to Isa. And then from there, we will flick into the three ways into NT and then make our way down. And then right in the middle of the whole trip, we have Fink. Fink is 11th to 14th. The Fink Desert Race, yes. not just Fink. <laughs> yeah, Fink, well it's a Fink Desert Race, yes. Um, if you don't know it, Google it. It is an okay. iconic. It's the Baja of Australia. It's absolutely sensational. I was out there about 13 years ago and wow, so I can't wait for you to see that. So that's 11th to 14th. Um, and then On after June? that, yes. And then after that we head down uh, into SA and then slowly float our way back into Melbourne for the 4x4 show. So. It's going to be one epic trip and one epic Outback series to Glad go. that you're joining us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. So we're on the road and I just wanted to say something that I really, really like about what we do is me. looking... <laughs> Like me. It's looking out the window, like if you see out there right now, it's cotton. And if you look over there as well, he's always there. That, that never, Oof, that never what changes. What a good view. <laughs> and we're in McAllister now, coming into McAllister, and you can see some silos up there. So I think we've got gone through Dolby. Yep. On our way to... Chinchilla. I think we might camp at Chinchilla for the night. Uh, there is a few camps out there, but we did here. That it, oh, you can see the rain and water everywhere, so we have Wet. a downpour. So we don't know how muddy the campsites are going to be, but we will suss it out when we get to it. Lucky I've got some big black bear mud ties. We might need them tonight. <laughs> Driving through Chinchilla. That's a few memories. Pop into my mind right about now. Of this exact street. Yeah. You were, many years ago, we went to the Watermelon Festival <laughs> and Miriam decided to compete in the um, <laughs> running race with a watermelon. And you seriously thought you were going to win. I did not. You're like, I'm <laughs> fit, I'm going to win. You I, got slaughtered. I was super fit, let me tell you. I was yeah. dressed for the watermelon skiing in a swimsuit top. Yeah. You don't run. Without your melons contained. <laughs> uh, these people out in the outback here, they trained for years to win the watermelon race. So come on. You had zero chance. It was woeful. So, it was truly woeful. Actually, we have got a YouTube video on the watermelon festival. Yeah. All you hardcore people who go in that race, you guys are legends. Yeah, hats off to Hard you. Hard work. Like watermelons this big sprinting up the road. Yeah, but to be fair, I was the first person to do the watermelon skiing and I made it all the way down. Like, so that was pretty yeah. fun. Anyway, we're going to go to the Weir. Yeah. We're here. Weir. We're going to go to the Weir. We are at the Weir. We're here. We're here. Just sussing it out to find the best spot. Oh yeah, there's the mud. Yeah. Ooh. That's not where we will be stopping. got the firewood, we're ready. This one here is very excited because the whole time we've been on the Gold Coast, all he's been saying is, I really want a fire. And tonight he gets it. Yep. Okay. Oh, you know what fires means? This one's cooking dinner. What's for dinner tonight? Whatever, I don't care. Witchetty grubs, I don't care. As long as they're cooked on the fire. Uh, fire pit time, eh? Absolutely. This is a camp grill and it goes off. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, we used it for the first time down in Coff, didn't we? Yeah. This one here thought it was Christmas. Oh, no, I did. <laughs> look how easy this is. That's it, look at that. 
That just clips in. What is that? Yeah, look, done. And that's it, and when we want to cook on it, we put the grill on. And there's a rotisserie there. When you live in a caravan, it's the little things that make me happy anyway. Toilet is empty, laundry basket empty, all the tanks are full, and the battery is almost fully charged. So day one of our trip didn't go unscathed, did it? No, there were some dramas, and I would have shown you as they unfolded <laughs> that someone here gets cranky and tells me to put Well, something unfolded, on. and um, yeah, it was my pride and joy, my stone stomper that I just installed. I'm devastated. I'll show you what happened. Look at this. What a rookie. I don't, it wasn't me. It was like, so there's a little D shackle that hooks to a um, eyelet and it hits and it hooks to the bracket here. So obviously that D shackle has broken or come off or whatever. And the um, stone stomper was dragging on the ground for like 300 Ks. So, so check out <laughs> my MacGyver. Good at All my zip ties. I even had to go back to Chinchilla to buy a packet of um, zip ties. Look at it. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that will do the job for the next 5,000 kilometres. <laughs> Time to say cheers. Cheers. Day one of one epic outback trip, eh? Hey? Yeah, day one, night yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, all cheers. kisses. And look, look, here's to an epic trip. Adios, cheers. Bye. Big headed. <laughs> You right? Yeah, what are you doing? Making music. Hmm? I what it is? It's that. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> but it makes wow. cool sounds. So this is a big weir we're standing on. Yeah. It's a big weir we're standing on. <laughs> Still a bit of a little, little bit of exploring. Blah 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 blah. And Let's when we try that again. And action. We're just doing a little bit of exploring. Exploring. On the we are because we are here doing it. And when we did the watermelon festival, I think we There's a rope swing. Swam yeah, there's a rope swing. But that big thing wasn't there, the big jetty. You used to drive down there, it's all, they're all fixing it all up now. But they're doing renovation. Yeah, like, check out the size of this weir that we are on. <laughs> See <laughs> you it? just stop with the weir, See it? the weir jokes. We are in this together, all right? I think we are, are on the weir. <laughs> you're in this on your own weir. I'm heading this way. Oh, uh, you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> Preparing veggies to be cooked on hi, hi. the campfire. Oh, yep. Frank. Yeah, that mud pit that I was saying, why would people drive in it? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Here! I walked in it. <laughs> okay. like, what sort of idiot would drive in it? But look, what sort of idiot would walk in it with thongs? I only went ass up too. <laughs> like, you know when you walk in mud and the thorn gets stuck in there? Like, that's seriously what it like. So, I'm just going to go to the shower. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, have fun with that. <laughs> I am pretty impressed with this purchase. It is a collapsible kettle from Kmart for $13. And... It works on the induction cooktop. How is that for cool? I'm going to make myself a cuppa of pucker. We're good to go, honey. Look, I'm all nice and clean. Mm -hmm. I've had my shower. Look, no more mud. There's a mud pile over there that I stacked it anyway. All right, we ready to cook? How good is that? Good like that? Good like that. Oh, yeah. Hey, Let's behind do this. you. What are we cooking? Oh, what have we got in here? Veggies. What sort of veggies, honey? Pumpkin, sweet potato, and pumpkin potato, 
bit of pumpkin and potatoes. Have you double wrapped them at all? Yep, and there's baking paper in there as well. There's what? Baking paper in there as Ooh, well. Wow, modern honey. Let's do this. I don't even know how long they've been on for, about half an hour or something. I would. Whammo. It smells like hog's breath, doesn't it? Mmm, because I put all sorts of special herbs and spices in there as well. Ooh, this is not KFC, honey. Secret recipe. 11 secret herbs and spices. Is it 11? I don't know. No, not six, seven. You know, like seven minute abs, like the seven dwarfs. So how's my meal looking? I hear it's a little bit um trash. Someone didn't turn Show me. the parcels. Oh, I turned them, honey. You, you clearly did it. Yes, I did. Do you know that charcoal cleans your teeth? <laughs> I make my own toothpaste. Yes, I do know this. Oh, you do know? Well, there you go. So what's your problem? Yeah. You're going to have a nice bit of protein, some veggies, and clean teeth. Nice, bright and early morning, wasn't it? Watching the sunrise. It was. Over the weir here. We're going to go, I think we're going to go explore Chinchilla this morning for a little bit. Information centre first, since we don't really know much about Chinchilla. Uh, but first we're going to get a cup of coffee, because I'm fanging for a cuppa. And then we'll just pack up slowly and get on the road. I think today we might head to Roma. There's a nice weir out there. Yes. Yeah, we're going to go camp at this beautiful weir out at Roma. and um, Maybe. Yeah, may, maybe spend a few days out there. We don't know yet. So. We're going to see where the road takes us. about the chef is big, even the door. Look, cup of tea, water, long sleeve shirt, beanie, socks, hand sanitizer, go girl, hand cream, stitch, mints, headphones, gum, chapstick, all in my door. That, that, this is muddy footprints from where I nearly slipped over last night. <laughs> Babe. Have you seen the massive orange? Check it out. It's giant. Is it like a whale or something? It's a big melon. Oh, it's a big, I like big melons. <laughs> Who doesn't like big melons? Like seriously? Yeah, yeah. A gift yeah. from whatif.com. Oh, I misinformation woman Take here. Take a selfie with the big melon. Open the camera app, set the timer, position your phone on the holder, and then you've got to press the shutter button, hurry into position, and then say, chinchilla, and share your photos using the hashtag experience Western Downs. And you can click on that if you want to know more. Let's go. Selfie time. Around that way. How rad is that? Look. Yep, the whole melon is in the shot. Nine, Nine eight, eight, seven, <laughs> six, five, Four, three, two, one. <laughs> That's one big melon. Let's have a look at the shot. Come on, let's have a look. Oh yeah, well good. Can we see it here? Okay, so just down from the big melons, mel melon. sorry, big water melon, <laughs> melon. Um, there's an information center. So here we go. Oy. The big melons. Information center, Chinchilla Botanic. Oh, Parkland. Oh. We don't want to see parking, do we? They're boring. Come on. What? No. Parks so are boring. You walk. love walking through like a little fairy. Like I do. I like looking at anyway. flowers and trees. And Look at the rubbish everywhere. Look. Not rubbish. Oh, man. Anyway. All right. Information center. It's just there. Hello, everyone. <laughs> we just put lights on these trees here. Look at the photo of it. How beautiful is that? Fairy lights in the three trees. That suits me well because I'm a fairy. Everything watermelon. And some caravan inspired goodies. So we are here in Chinchilla for a day. What is there to see and do? It's plenty to do. And we have um, this wonderful Explore Chinchilla brochure. First of all, what you have to do is always have your photo taken. At 
Yay! We've done that already. That was the first thing and we did it. We did our selfie. Um, the other thing to do, obviously, this fantastic new Botanic Parkland over here, which has won awards. Oh. We have the fabulous Condamine River. Where oh, the yes. Weir is. Yes. Where I believe you camped last yeah, night. Yeah, we did. Yes. We did. Uh, beautiful sunsets, pelicans. Beautiful sunrise. Yeah, well. beautiful. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, the reason you can't camp there at the moment is that at Western Downs Regional Council, we're currently upgrading all our camping sites. In oh, the awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So um, they're going to include camp kitchens, upgrades with toilets. Oh, and power, really? Uh, big upgrades. It will be helpful as well, yes. won't it? Yes. yes. What app is it? Apps. And brochures. And also, you must go to our website, westerndownsqueensland.com.au. So she's managed to suck me into walking through this park. It's award-winning botanic garden. It's award-winning, apparently. So here we go. Here we go. The Chinchilla Botanic Parkland officially opened on May 28, 2019. with the culmination of a community vision going back more than 40 years. 40 years! For a special area in our town for everyone, including us. For to everyone, to including enjoy. us. Let's go look at a boring park. Wow, this is just... Let's go off the beaten track. Some, yeah. Some dirt roading here. This is riveting, honey. It's lovely. This was just a grass field before. I can imagine lots of mums would be pushing their hmm? huh? what? through here and people put on their joggers and go for a run. Lay your towel down on the grass hey, what? and what? have a read. Enjoy the sunshine. Look, it's so cute! Nearly as cute as me, honey. Oh my goodness. Look at the little nose. <laughs> Most the maintenance at the moment, but that's okay because it's Quick. What, 17 let's, degrees, a bit chilly. Let's get our beaters on. No, let's not. Water limbo. Water limbo. I can't imagine how much fun that would be, but look over there, museum. Written in big Oh, yeah. So that would be cool going to a museum, but boring. A little drunk with I'm alright. Cause I've been hanging with you and it feels like love. Tell me if something I'm not sure if you've noticed, but we actually have side steps. We have decided to hit the road early-ish and we are heading to Miles, did you say? Yeah, well, Miles will be the next town and then we'll probably chill for a night or two in Roma. Yeah. We've just pulled up into Miles. And apparently this is really freaking cool. The Miles Historical Village Museum, but... I don't know if we're actually going to go in and have a look. Yeah, we don't have much... But... Well, we sort of do have time, but... He doesn't like museums, so... Bored again. We'll, we'll walk down here and see... We'll Let's just... We'll let you, we'll, I'll just... Yeah. We'll just go for a quick look just to keep her happy, all right? In what looks to be the main street, opposite the Red Rose Cafe and the state school. There you go, babe. Saved you doing it twice, <laughs> filming Saved twice. I just filmed you doing a story. Well, so. you did. Well, there's the post office, the bakery, the union hotel, the chemist, the cafe, the bank. Mm. Mm. So, as you can see, I got it my way. That was your For once. Extremely in-depth tour of the music. For once. We went to the entrance, had a quick look, and then out. My advice would be, if you like looking at these sorts of things, take the time to go in and have a look around. And if you don't, stick your head in the door like we did. Mm, what? <laughs> what? A little crazy for you now. A little crazy for you now, baby. I'm a little... Stone Stomper MacGyvering is holding up damn well. Look at it. <laughs> well, you did a good it's job. Like a, it's like a zip tie um, sculpture. Look at it. It is. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's get a coffee. Well done. Hope you got some. Pulled over at Wallam Villa so Chris can grab a coffee and I thought I'd show you around starting with these awesome trees right here. The scenery changes so much as you head out west. No. Well, I went in there to get a coffee. So you guys have coffee? She goes, yeah, instant. I went, um, she goes, if you want fancy coffee, it's two blocks that way. <laughs> I'm going to go get a fancy coffee. You're going to get coffee. your fancy coffee? you going to leave me here? Yeah. This is Wallam Villa. Explore the opportunities, lifestyle and attractions. So here we've got 10 things to see and do. The Calico Cottage, the Heritage Complex, Railway Museum, Grain Shed, Town Square Cenotaph, the Wharf, Cemetery, Sale Yards, Gas Supply Hub, and the Men's Shed. So let's see what's here. It does pay to stop and read the signs if you're interested in exploring an area. Right here, there's a heap of, I don't know, things to do. Like this one here from Ambi. Try your luck at the Ambi No Horse Golf Course. Take in the local Indigenous historic site, etc., etc. Heaps. Of information right there. Oh, my 
it's a bit pigeon toed in here. It looks like Ayla. Missy, is that you? <laughs> oh, it totally looks like you. That's Wilson. Wow, Zan. <laughs> Not that freaking great. So, yeah, hang on, grab her. It's your mum. <laughs> Mum's on the phone. Hey, Kaz. Hi, Mum. <laughs> Just charging the phone back up. Party line phone. Party line. Woohoo! Just a note, there's a 1934 Chevrolet fire engine just over there. First fire engine is a Chevy. Of course it is. Hey. Where is it? It's just in here. Look at the beauty. And... Are they methods? Are they like one of the first methods you can buy? Method race wheels? There's the mm. Chev. Do you want this back on? Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh. You're on. Oh, no, it looks a little <laughs> It's a little wonky. afternoon and um, we've been flat out haven't we? Mm, yeah. We've been flat out trying to catch up on a few things, going to firewood, catching up on the latest newsletter that the you've scheduled. It's gone out already. It's gone out? It's yeah, gone out. It's gone out at six o'clock on a Friday night. It's a great yeah. time to send yeah, out a perfect newsletter. Perfect time. Anyway we're relaxing tonight. We're just gonna chill out by the amazing fire of just um, set up as you just saw. Now, Chris's campfires and, co and cooking in Lachette. How many fires he has on this Outback adventure. So it's day two and we've had two fires. Day two and we've had two fires. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah, we're at Neil Turner Weir, by the way. We couldn't even say where we are. I don't think we did, did we? Neil Turner Weir, anyway, at So, day two morning. Has anyone got a missus that dresses like this? <laughs> Do you like it? So we got knobby pajamas <laughs> with um what the, What are they? My fluffy cotton on socks. Fluffy socks. But this it's got parrots and skulls all over it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that's really random, honey. I'm really trading set up. <laughs> anyway. Merriam is going to take you on a little tour of this uh, beautiful campground at Miles when we decide, Not in when this we get. Outfit. Let's check this place out, shall we? Pretty large space. Here you go. <laughs> Great, thanks. <Such laughs> this... <bed>. Bye. <laughs> this is where we are, and we're going to head over this way. Our coldest morning so far. It is six degrees having gone up from four degrees so dressed appropriately I came over here last night and he said that people were actually driving across the weir so I'm guessing that they've come down one of those and then headed along and up the other side guess it's a bit of a shortcut Heaps of space here, even with so many vans parked up. Waterfront side. But if you peek through the bushes, you see water. Bring your own firewood. Um, there's none here that you can collect and you're gonna want a fire. Uh, rubbish bins. We've come from all the way down the back, you can't even see. And now we're coming into this other little section. Here. Actually, taken me a little while to get all the way down to the other end um, of the campground. So, when we were looking on Wiki Camps, we did read that it was busy and that there were over a hundred vans, and we were like, oh, but then someone said there was plenty of space. Don't worry, if there are a hundred vans here, there's still plenty of space.
Mitchell seems to be a sleepy little country town and this camping ground right here is gorgeous. I'd say it's well worth stopping here on your way to wherever you're going or even spending a few days right here and checking out what the local area has to offer. There's 10 things you can do while in Mitchell on this sign right over here. 10 things to see and do in Mitchell and I've just realized there are actually 11 and I made up the 10. So anyway plenty to do in Mitchell and look what else is in this sign. This is where you make your donation for staying at the campground. And a bit of information. And that concludes my little tour of the Neil Turner Weir campground at Mitchell. Hope you liked it. I better get back to the van now because I gotta pack up the whole inside and we gotta hit the road. Alright. So we're moving on. Just making sure all that Look at doing a little job. Good girl, I like the attire too. Look at this. <laughs> it's a good look, eh? Good socks. Oh, yeah. When we're in the car, I just pull them up like that and they keep my legs warm. Lovely. Yeah. Did you just flash to everyone then? I hope not. I don't know. Probably though. Right. It's just knobbies, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to move on from Mitchell. Did you enjoy it here? Well, yeah, I enjoyed my little walk around the place this morning. Yeah, it's just a nice little, um, yeah, little camp, isn't it? Let's yeah. go into the sun, because you probably can't see our faces. Is that better? You can see our pretty faces now. Beautiful. There ah, you go. There you go. Anyway, I think we're going to head to Morven today. There looks like a cracker of a campsite out there, so... We did yeah. have some fun in Morven a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, we did with the kids a few years ago, that's right. So, oh, there's some more campers coming Riding down. the machinery and... Yeah. Yes. All sorts of fun stuff. But anyway, we'll move on. I think we might just have a quick little look in Mitchell. I'll give you guys a lesson on how to dump a toilet. There's a song that goes with it, okay? You put the lid down, you put the cassette out, da -da -da, and you shake it all about. <laughs> and then wait, wait. Oh. And then you dump it out. <laughs> Ew! You try and film it without showing the group. And that's what it's all about. See? It's not finished yet though. There's, there's, oh, but yeah. wait, there's more. And then you get the hose and you turn it on and you fill it up. While you sing your little song. Don't forget to put and it And then we're up to it again and then you shake it all about. Lovely. Shake it all about. <laughs> again, hiding the grossness. You dump it all out again. And that's what it's all about. And then you put it back in. And then you're on your merry way. Ooh, get those hands away. <laughs> Always remember to not wash the dump point because there is nothing worse, eh? I you don't know. I up and seeing someone else's crap everywhere. I don't do it, so. Well, I know you don't do it. Hang on, but what's going in our next van? Composting toilet. Which means <laughs> no more dump points, my friend. No more dump points. <laughs> How you doing over there? They, they, they call it the realities of life. Reality, mate. It's the glamorous now. side of caravanning. I'm going to wash my hands and then it's... The number one thing to do here is the Great Artesian Spa. The information centre. So this is the information centre. We go to get some information. Natural Yum Bar. Is this the information centre? It is. Okay, I'm out. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and there we go. Artesian yes. Spa. That's it. And yes. you're going to tell me all Beautiful. about it, aren't you? Well, oh, yeah. as much as you know. So, Great Artesian Basin runs the east coast of Australia all the way down to Victoria. We have three bores that are sunk underground to supply water to oh, our town. Wow. Some of them are a kilometre deep. It comes out of the ground on its own at 60 degrees. Oh, so, so that's not 60 degrees in there no, though, obviously. We control, we control the temperature <laughs> So the what pool. are those it's, ones? What temperature? We have a 40 degree. Yep. And this one's a cold pool at 21 Perfect. at the moment. Considering it's 14 degrees yes, this morning, yes. it makes so sense what everyone's in Artesian water is the lifeblood of country towns and uh, properties. 
could not exist without this water because we don't get rain yeah. for uh, surface water. Yeah, yeah wow. And well, it does have healing minerals. We have, it has a lot of magnesium, potassium, calcium, yeah. sodium, full of, full of all good minerals. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, here's Chris. This is my other Hello, half. He's, 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 he's found like the cat. Very reluctant. Oh yes, well. He's doing a wonderful job telling us all about this beautiful. I feel every day. <laughs> this beautiful water. It's 40 degrees in one of those, baby. Sure. Really? Are you sure you don't want to get in? No. <laughs> that is actually fresh water being pumped in now because our heaters won't hold the temperature okay. overnight. Oh. We're down to minus one on Monday night, so yes. we yes. have to dump and put in fresh to get the temperature up where we want it to be. So the advice is if you're passing through Mitchell, allow time to stop here. Absolutely, yeah. Good for aches and pains. Yeah, yeah we that's, that's me all time, over. Yes. I wish um, that we had, because it's just amazing. Yeah. Days I've been hanging for a ham, cheese and tomato toasted sandwich. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed in butter. So can we please go get one? Okay. <laughs> let's go get one. Come on, let's do it. Come on. Our grand tour of Mitchell. Came was... to a grinding halt when I couldn't get a ham, cheese and tomato toasted. <laughs> So it was the Artesian Spa Blood and Devo. that's it. So <laughs> no ham and cheese toasty. No ham and cheese tomato toasty sandwich. So we may have to result in making one ourselves. But we don't bugger, we've got bread. no bread. We've got no ham. <laughs> we've got salami and cheese. And, Ooh, salami and cheese and toasty. Wraps. So we can make it like quesadillas, but with pepperoni. Actually, we'll make it meat. We can just make quesadillas. All right, maybe we do that. What do you reckon? All right, we'll just find a rest stop up here somewhere. Yeah. Just flicked open Wikicam so you can see we a little blue dot and we're looking for a rest stop to pull over and it's too bumpy for me to use my phone right now but we found one and Ooline Park which is about what, 8 k's from here is where we're going to have some food. I'm going backwards. Yes, I missed the turn alright. No. <laughs> I was too busy looking at your sexy legs off the <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a long drive, isn't it? <laughs> well, the park will be here somewhere. Canopy, we'll show you right now. So this is a, a full Anadrive lithium battery system. Uh, up the back under the floor, we have a 300 amp a BTEC uh, battery. We have a 40 plus DC to DC charger, which on a good day with the alternator, it puts in up to nearly 50 amps charge. We have a 60 amp AC charger, which we can plug into mains when we're pulled up if we really need to, if we never needed to. Uh, 2000 watt inverter, and then we have the Cy Marine system here. So there's our Cy Marine there. So you can see we are at 100% state of charge. So we'll do, I think we'll do some cooking now. And Miriam is not allowed to cook on my kitchen in the I chef. I can't okay. reach your kitchen in the chef. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to cook on there. We're going to show you guys how much power we use and draw and then how quick we can charge it back up when we're on the road. How actually simple it is. Mm -hmm. Actually, how actually simple it is. And how actually yummy quesadillas are. Oh, quesadillas. <laughs> how how un-Australian is that? Like, we're in the outback and we're having quesadillas. Quesadillas, let's go. Anyway, all right, let's do this. So the UBU kitchen is over this side. Here's our induction cooktop here. Simples! Well, that's not the induction cooktop there. The induction cooktop is... Oh, very good, honey. Right there. I've got yours and my step. <laughs> He's in her Because step. we have such a big, manly truck, we need steps. Here you go, darling. Here's mine. And here's yours. You're out there, because you're not allowed to touch my kitchen, all right? <laughs> Gladly. Here we, go. here we go. Food assistant, are you ready? Are you ready? So this is my lovely assistant. She has prepared. Let's have a look at have these Have a look. Things. Can you see in here? Wow. Go Pretty basic. Here. Chicken, cheese and salsa. <laughs> there. And then please, please step away. Exiting Le Chef. Thank you. We literally always have the inverter on. We're always um, charging our batteries and stuff for our cameras. So here's the inverter here to fire all the 240 up on the system. Flip the induction on now and start some cooking. All right, I will flick him on here. Now it has up to about 9 I think is the setting, so we'll put it on about 7. I think that should be good, so we should start to get really hot right now. Let's whiz around the other side quickly, you've got to run, because that gets hot so quickly, and we'll see what sort of power we're drawing. Okay, so let's come up to the Cy Marine. We are drawing about 100 and, 108 amps out of the battery. So it's actually 10.39 now, so let's see how long it takes to cook four quesadillas, have we? Um, five. Five? Okay, let's get one. Geez, you're a good assistant. Look at this. Okay, you got oil in the pan? Oh, yeah, no. You'd be lost without me. Oh, probably. 
All right, how are we looking here? Okay, let's get one on, one at a time too, man. Yep. So, so we need some elevator music. Oolong Forest, but no idea where we are. Not to be Oolong. She was saying oolong the whole time we were coming in here. It was so funny. Oolong. The very last one. Oh, thank you, assistant. She's a good looking assistant too, isn't she? <laughs> okay, we've finished cooking. It is 10.51 a.m. So how long was that? I don't remember when we started. I don't even, we can't remember when we started, so. I think it was. As you can see there. I think it was 10.39. Let's go and see what damage we did. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's have a look what the state of charge is now. How, how much we drained out of the batteries. Oh, not much at all. Here we go here. So 92%. That is how little it used for the induction. That's what's left. We didn't use 92%. <laughs> yes, that's what's left. <laughs> All right, guys, induction cooktop, 100% the way to go, isn't it? I got food all in my teeth, but yes! So much more efficient. You know, everyone carries on about how much power it does draw, but bear in mind, guys, you cook for half the time. It, it heats up nearly instantly, and yeah. the heat is so good on it. And it doesn't take long to charge back up, which we're about to show you now. Yes, yeah, so now we're going to pack up. We're full as a goog on our quesadillas. I could probably finish the last one that's sitting over there. Oh, we'll, we'll finish <laughs> it. So we're going to pack up, and we're going to get back on the road, and we're going to show you guys actually how long it takes to um, charge the battery back up with the DC-DC charger while we're travelling. So. And how can you monitor it while you're travelling? Oh, we'll monitor through the app on the phone. Um, or we can just pull up and do it the old lazy way. No, the, the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, la the lazy way is actually, um, yeah, the with the Sci Marine. Phone. Yeah, the app on the phone. So anyway, mm. let's pack this thing up. Let's finish the last guess, Elliot. Yeah, let's finish it. First one gets it. Hey, in my kitchen. It's a whole guess, Elliot. Look at that. Oh, show me. Mm. <laughs> no sharing for you. All right. Mm. Bye. So we packed up, full as a goog. Now let's see how quick we can charge this sucker up. So we'll jump into the Sci Marine app now. Yeah. And then we will connect. Here we go. So state of charge is at 92% should tell us we have 51 minutes till we're fully charged. Let's jump on the freeway and see how long it takes before it charges fully back up. So we're on the road now, it is 11.08. We've opened the app up and as you can see, up here, whoop, we're putting back in 39.51. Yeah. Record at the right time on a really bumpy spot in the road. Um, we, we, oh my gosh, we were going to, well, we're trying to let you know how long it takes to charge back up, but we've just realized that the clock in the car is completely different to the clock on the phone. So it's not going to be entirely accurate on how many minutes, but we've been driving. How about we just go for kilometers? Yeah, kilometers. So we've done about 26 kilometers so far. It's so bumpy. <laughs> So you can see what's going on at the moment, 95% and up the top there, 45.73 amps. Is coming in for the going DC in. charger. Yeah. And that is only 25 k's down the road that we're already up at 95% uh, state of charge. So, so the verdict, it is 12.04 a.m. We, we've PM. driven, oh, p.m. <laughs> p.m. We've driven, how many, how many k's? 54, 50? 54 k's down the road? Yeah. And we are at 100%. Here we go, and if we flick back to the battery itself, that'll tell you as well. It's the battery monitoring system, isn't it? That's saying it's 99 now. We just clicked over because the bridge is running. Maybe. Let's have a look in here. We've got to find which battery it is, because we've got too many it's batteries. The one. I think it's the bottom one. Yeah, because we've got another two in the caravan as well. Do you reckon it's that one? I think it's the bottom one. Okay. Well, here we go. No, no that's, that's, one that's in the, the caravan. That's the 200 amp hour. <laughs> okay, let's just have a look over here. Come over here. <laughs> let's go to the. As you can see, we've got three batteries. We've got one 300 in here, and we've got two 200 uh, and a drive lithium VTEX in there as well. Okay, here we go. Look up in here. So if you go back to here, you can see our state of charge is 100%. 
that was 54 k's down the road and I don't know how many minutes because I can't do my math. But thing is, you can cook <laughs> with your induction cooktop. It doesn't draw too much power and it does not take long to charge. Well, it off. does. Yes, it, it draws 100. How many amps are we drawing? 108 amps. Yeah. But literally, but not for long. No, not for long at all. So it doesn't drain the battery much. I yes. Guess. So and and then and then the and a drive DC DC charger just smashes the amps back into it when we're on the road. So easy peasy. Yeah. Happy days. <laughs> and thanks to my lovely assistant, Miriam Mace, for um for helping me out in this video. I literally was about to say if you do want to get yourself an Enerdrive lithium battery system just read the information below this video. Are you video. just trying to put another plug in are you? <laughs> well, well they need to know where to get one they're yeah, awesome and you guys point. will need one so just read below and the links of where you can get one um, quite possibly at a discounted price if you know the right people. Thank you my sexy. <laughs> read below. No show is complete without. Without a dagwood dog.